Look out for this weird security checker. She doesn't have any security screening equipment. She can smell contraband just by her nose. Not only that, she can also smell emotions on people. Sin, anger, curses. Her name is Tina. She may be ugly, but she was a good person at heart. One day, a man in a suit walked by. Tina smelt the smell of sin. But after a search, nothing was found. But Tina is sure there is something wrong with this man. She asks the man to hand over his phone and then she held it in her hand and smelled it. The man panicked. There was a memory card hidden inside the phone case. The man grabbed it and stuffed it in his mouth, looking like he was about to swallow it. The other screeners swarmed over him. They pulled out the memory card. There it was. The card contains a bunch of videos of children committing crimes. After work, Tina has a quirk. She likes to walk alone in the woods barefoot, and playing with animals. She is in a very happy mood. In the evening, she has dinner with her boyfriend. There is no communication between them. It is clear that her boyfriend does not love her. He just wants to find a long-term meal. Tina could have lived a normal, ordinary life. Until the day she is on duty, she finds a man who looks like herself. She couldn't smell any of his emotions. Tina felt that this man was suspicious, so her colleagues searched his backpack. The only thing that looked suspicious was a box of buggies. But it wasn't contraband. I can clean it. The colleague takes the man next door and searches his body. The results were shocking. The man in front of him clearly had the appearance and physical features of a man, but he was physically a woman. Tina was frozen in place. It was the first time she had ever missed. What was even stranger was that the man had a distinctive scar on his vertebrae, and this scar Tina had too. She went to the nursing home and asked her father how she got the scar on her vertebrae. The father replied that the scar was from a fall when Tina was a child. Tina smells her father's lie but she does not expose it. At this point, the police follow the clues given by Tina. The children's case has taken a new turn. They sneak into the tenant's house. Inside, the smell of decay is overwhelming. Tina uses her sense of smell. She found a camera in a trophy cup. The police opened it and were stunned. The man had not eaten for three days, only to see him pouring a whole plate of roast meat into a bowl. The old lady scolds him for his lack of quality. The man smiled back and showed a kind smile. The old lady was too shocked to make a sound. The man then returns to his seat and eats from a large bowl of raw meat. The man's name is Val. He has a similar face to Tina's. After eating, he went into the woods too, looking for something to eat after dinner. Tina was very curious. Tina was curious because the man was collecting worms from the trees. He then picked up a worm and handed it to Tina's mouth, saying that it is delicious. Tina resisted at first, but her body swallowed it uncontrollably. It was the best thing Tina had ever tasted. Because of her appearance, Tina has been discriminated against since she was a child. She had a low self-esteem, but Val says it's not your fault. For the first time she felt validated and she also felt an inexplicable affection for Val, knowing that Val had no place to stay. Tina takes him back home, but Tina's boyfriend is very unhappy with this unexpected visitor. He orders Tina to throw him out, forgetting that Tina has taken him in herself. Ever since she was a child, she has been used to the indifference and discrimination of strangers. Now she finally meets someone who appreciates her. In the face of her boyfriend's unreasonable demands, she explodes. <laughs> After driving her boyfriend away, the two live together. They hate each other. They had the same experiences. They have a lot in common. They both like to eat raw food. They both cower under the table in fear during thunderstorms. Walking together in the woods when it's sunny, they play in the lake. It was as if this was where they belonged. That day, Val revealed a secret. You and I are not human. We are mountain monsters. That's why both of us once had tails. The clan had never been recognized by humans. Humans used to kill them in large numbers. Only a few of their cubs survived by having their tails cut off. So while hated humans, it turns out that he has been living a lie. Tina comes to the nursing home to ask her father about her origins. When she finds out that her real parents died at the hands of humans, Tina is devastated like never before, although she doesn't say so. But in her heart she begins to resent the human. Woman finds her fridge taped shut, which appeared to be hiding something. Tina opened the fridge and Tina opens the fridge and pulls out a cardboard box. Inside the box was a baby. The baby was lying in the box, and it looked very strange. The body was like a dough ball, and a dent when you pressed it. She couldn't help but ask Val what was going on. Val replied, that's the mountain monster, an embryo that has not been conceived. It does not eat or sleep. They don't feel anything, and they don't live long. Tina was amazed, but there was more to come. This man was one of the prisoners in the children's case. Just as the police were escorting him to the scene for investigation, halfway to the scene, a reindeer rushes into the middle of the road. The police stop for a moment. Val suddenly appeared. The man is pulled out of the car and stoned to death. Tina arrives at the scene. She smells Val's scent. She followed the scent into the jungle and confronted Wall. <laughs> Yeah. Tina couldn't believe it. She shouted angrily at Val. Val said that many years ago, humans had slaughtered the mountain monsters, his parents had died before his eyes, and that he had been thrown into a laboratory by the humans. So now, he wants to get back at them, and that he didn't do anything. He just stole the baby from the hospital, and replaced it with a gargoyle embryo, and then reselling them. The humans themselves would then do the evil deed. Tina became even more furious after hearing this. The two men confronted each other like wild animals. Finally Tina turned away in tears, and just after she left, a tear escaped from the corner of Val's eye. The next day, 
Tina smelled sadness. She made her way to her neighbor's house and asking her what had happened. What it turned out that the neighbor's baby had been replaced with a mountain monster embryo. She went to find Val in a rage, but he'd already left. She left a note on the table. Tina is told to meet him on the ship. Soon after, she arrives at the ship. Val wanted to take Tina away with him. The demon is a demon. Tina could never forgive Val for his cruelty. Turning her head, two policemen grabbed Val and took him away. Who knew that Val would struggle to break free and he jumped into the sea. Tina was silent. She shed tears. From that day onwards, she became even more disillusioned than before. Lost. She was already unrecognized by the world. And now, having left behind the only one of her kind, she was as helpless as a child. Until that day, Tina receives a wooden box. Inside was a child with a tail. It was her and Val's baby. Stepped out of the room. She was giving the child a worm. The baby stops crying. Tina smiled for the first time. Two